This is the library homepage. I'm here at wlibrary.ww.edu. And here is the one search box. I'm going to type in growth mindset. It's already in there because I've been practicing this video. So very often I'm going to hit search. Very often this is how we begin a search. We start to type in words. We go into Google. We even type in phrases. Uh, so we just kind of get a sense of what's out there. Uh, growth mindset here in the library results in, uh, wow, um, 96,000 results. So I'm going to have to do some refining here. I'm going to go through the list and you can see articles. You can see there's an ebook, there's a uh, print, there's a, even a video, etc. Here on this other side, I can see peer reviewed articles, newspapers, uh, reference works, all kinds of things on this side to limit. But really, I need to start with uh, narrowing down the concept because before I start narrowing down um, particular resources. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go into advanced search and I'm going to add some terms. I want to, I'm particularly interested in this uh, concept in the classroom. I'm also going to add a line because I want to look at early childhood. So I have a population, I have a spe specific um, uh, educational setting, and then I want to see how this theory is playing out there. If I wanted to, I could limit by material type right here from the front, a language or a publication year. I want to point out that, uh, stop for a moment and point out that the Research Writing Studio uh, has um, flipped up here. I could chat now if I was really struggling to just get my search started. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Uh, we have online chat available throughout the day, nine to nine. And on weekends, when you chat, uh, it'll automatically turn into an email and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'm going to click no thanks right here. All right. So now that I've narrowed, whoops, not quite yet. I have to click one search. Um, okay, I've, I've reduced my results uh, still a lot, but um, at least I feel like these are now I can start to browse and they're a little more targeted. Uh, I can start to use this left hand side. I'm going to do peer review journals because I really am looking for articles at this point. And I do want to also use the date limiter. I don't need to go back all the way to 2000. Uh, or 1987. I think I want to go to 2015. Just look at the last five or six years. So once I've employed some limiters, I'm getting my results just more manageable. Now we could browse through all these titles, look at different things, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to click on the first title, take you in and show you a little bit about the item record. <clears throat> so right here, there's the title, the authors, there's the year, volume, you can see, issue, you'll need those for the citation. Here's the page numbers, right, as, uh, you'll need that for the citation as well, about eight pages. So that's kind of borderline, you, want, you do want to pay attention to page length. Scholarly resources, um, analytic meta-analysis, they tend to... Um, be um, longer in terms of because you have to a lot of content to cover you have a literature review and methodology and analysis and, and conclusion and all those kinds of parts so page number is actually a good indicator of um, locating some scholarly sources if i go down the item record please don't miss out on these really terrific subject terms. You can say to yourself, what, what am I actually looking for? Student empowerment? Am I looking for teacher attitudes? Uh, research is recursive. We talk about it that way. And what that means is that you are going back in and you're searching again. So I'm looking for um, growth mindset, but I might be um, doing any number of searches um, in, in trying to get at the idea from a whole lot of different perspectives. And then, of course, here's a description um, abstract of the article. So right in the middle of the page, I can click on EBSCO host, and that is going to take me to our library's access to uh, this particular journal. And here it is. I can look at the full text here. I can read the journal, download it, um, take notes, do whatever I need to do. So that is the articles. Now, I noticed when I had my initial results list that there was a book that looked pretty interesting. I'm going to get rid of the peer review and go back to my results list. And I see that there's this book, it's Purposeful Play, A Teacher's Guide to Igniting Deep and Joyful Learning Across the Days. So that looks like a book I'd want to I'd want to look at. Uh, 
see this green available on these? That means that the library has that material readily available. We just linked to that article. If you see a orange click request, it means that you'll need to use interlibrary loan. And that is very simple, very straightforward. Uh, we expedite these interlibrary loans. I very much encourage you, especially um, at the graduate level, to understand and utilize interlibrary loan. Again, here's the citation of the book and information on the, the book, chapters, contents. Uh, I can take a look at those to make sure that I really am interested in uh, getting this book through Summit. So uh, not available, please sign in for request options. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to sign in. And I'm just going to prompt me and ask me for my uh, to validate through my universal login and that will take yeah. whoops wow that looked kind of scary but i think it's still going to sign me in even though that really scary coding came up i'm going to try oh and there it is request through summit so sometimes you just have to reload and little glitches come up uh, you will notice that I can request this now through Summit uh, and that those buttons come up. Curbside Pickup, that is available uh, Tuesday, Friday, Sundays, uh, right under the Haggard Skybridge. We also, during this really challenging COVID time, are mailing materials. So if you are unable to come to campus uh, for any reason, even if you live right close to campus, we will mail you materials. Uh, you can give us our, your address and uh, in the package, there will be a return uh, package with mailing, uh, postage paid. So we're really trying, while the library is closed right now due to uh, COVID restrictions, we are offering this request. So that should be, you can just click on request, which I'm not going to do, but because <laughs> um, I don't need the book. Now, I do want to point out this. Um, I have signed in and you can see the loans, your requests, saved items, a search history. So there are some other features when you do sign in that you might want to check out. You could um, monitor your library card and, and materials that you have. Okay. So at this point, uh, I can go here back to results list. There's a little link and that's really slick to know about. So then I'm back I've requested the book, I've um, looked at the articles, and I can continue through OneSearch to locate materials in our library and in our regional libraries on my topic.